Steve Waters' legacy started right here at the University of Florida College of Medicine. As a graduate of the class of 1975, Dr. Waters became chief resident in the Department of Orthopedics and Rehabilitation. Steve went to VMI and applied to medical school, and he did not get in the first time. So he found out the reason, he worked hard, he came down to UF and took an extra year of science classes and got a 4.0, reapplied, and this time he got in. We dated for three years and, and we got married. Uh, he had been waiting for me, he had not been married before, and uh, I was a widow with two young children, which he took on as his own. It was really a wonderful story. We had two more daughters, and our family was just a wonderful family. Steve did his medical training at UF, um, did a year residency at Vanderbilt, came back and did his orthopedic training under his mentor, Dr. Inneking. When he graduated from orthopedic training, he and one of his friends from medical, from orthopedic school, Clint Bush, decided to open up a practice here in Gainesville. So they started with two doctors, the Orthopedic Center, um, and now it has morphed into the Orthopedic Institute with 20 plus doctors and multiple offices. Steve's attitude towards life and work was one that you should work hard, but since you do that, you should also play hard. He was a warm, good-hearted human being. And I think that showed in everything that he did. Steve died so suddenly and unexpectedly. Uh, it was shocking for all of us. And I wasn't ready to say goodbye. I knew I wanted to do something important so that he would be remembered. And the thing that immediately came to mind was setting up a scholarship in his name. Steve had a special place in his heart for people that didn't make it the first time because not everybody that's qualified is accepted the first time in medical school. So I applied to maybe 20 schools and I got rejected from all of them. I remember thinking to myself, I will do everything to make sure that I never hear no again. The second time around was very different. I got accepted to almost every single program I interviewed at. Dr. Waters' work is an inspiration to me because it just shows that no matter what life throws at you, you can always turn it into a positive. The point of giving the scholarship money as an endowment is that it will be there. It will help not just one student, but many students. I think that the Waters endowment just speaks to his legacy and his vision for helping young doctors succeed. If we want to produce the kind of doctors and the kind of people that Steve was, then we're going to have to do it by giving students the opportunity to be here at a cost that makes sense. And the only way to do that is through private philanthropy. If you were to ask me what I would want the recipient of this scholarship to know about Steve, That would be that, I'm sorry, they never got to meet him. They missed out on an incredible opportunity to know an incredible person. But they can become associated with that person through this scholarship. And if they would try to be as good as he was, that's all they need to do. Every day I wake up happy because I'm pursuing my dream and I know that I can lead the life of a healer, an educator, and a warrior in the battle against disease, pain, and suffering. When given a second chance, we are lifted up by the support of others. We find new strength in our determination, and when we are determined to persevere, we will never lose sight of our dream.